Hey everybody, what's up? It's Kiki and welcome back for another video. I hope you guys are already subscribed to my channel, but if you're not, click that subscribe button become part of the Kiki Squad. Today I am coming at you guys with this quick and easy way to make a lace frontal wig using this new frontal lace top wig cap that I found at my local beauty supply store. So if you guys want to see how I make this wig, my thoughts on this cap, how it works, if it fits, keep watching. So first I'm going to start with this hair that I got from Miss Here Hair on AliExpress and I am going to lightly bleach my frontal. So I'm going to start off by mixing in some quick blue powder bleach and I'm going to add some 40 volume developer. I'm going to add a little bit at a time and just mix it up until I get the consistency that I'm looking for. I like it in the consistency of like cake frosting so that's what I'm going for. So I mix a little bit at a time and keep adding as I need it. And I like to use a spatula to apply the bleach, therefore I don't apply too much pressure and it doesn't seep through. I know some people like to use spoons, I know some people like to use um, butter knives, but I just use a spatula. And I got this from the Dollar Tree. You want to make sure that you put on gloves when applying bleach or mixing bleach or doing anything with bleach because it can irritate your skin if it gets on your skin. And then I'm going to lightly, lightly apply the bleach mixture onto my front so this is speeded up so it does look like I'm you know being a little rough but I'm definitely taking my time making sure that I get it all over the frontal as well as the hairline I'm not trying to super bleach out my knots I just want them to look lighter than they already are because I have over bleached knots so many times that I'm tired of trying to fix frontals so this is a foolproof way to get my knots bleached and not over bleach them. and once I'm done applying all the bleach I lift it up to see if any of the bleach seeped through and got on any of the hair and just to make sure that I got all the hairline and I didn't miss any spot and then I'm going to set my timer and let this sit for 20 minutes I am going to take the shimmer lights purple shampoo and I'm going to start off by running the frontal underneath cold water and I like to run it in the through the hair so that the bleach falls downward and not through the hair if that makes sense I know the bleach is pretty much neutralized once water touch it but I just just to be on the safe side I always like for the bleach to run down instead of running into the hair and when I'm done getting all the bleach out, I let it sit in the purple shampoo for about 10 minutes and then I rinse that out. So again, the cap that I'm using is the Stretch Mesh Ear to Ear Frontal Lace Top Wig Cap that I found from my local beauty supply store. It was $3.49. I always use the mesh dome caps when making wigs from this brand as well. So when I saw that they had the frontal lace wig cap, I wanted to give it a try and see if this was easier or if it made a difference in making my wig. And this is how it looks straight out of the packaging. It's pretty much half lace and half mesh cap. As you can see the difference in the lace that's on the frontal and the lace that's on the cap. The one on the frontal kind of meshes more with my skin. And the one on the cap is a little bit light. It does have a little bit of lace around the back. And then it has like a elastic band type cap. So I'm going to take the cap and put it on my wig block. It is measured for my head. I did get it from Amazon. And then I'm going to take my frontal and as you can see that my knots are bleached. They're not super bleached but they're definitely lightened. So I'm going to line up the band of the frontal with the band of the cap. So I'm just going to line it up and tack it down with T-pins. And I'm just using a regular curved needle and thread whenever I'm doing a glue gun or a quick weave I always sew down the frontal in the closure and then I'm just going to sew the frontal down all the way across Normally when I apply a frontal or a wig, it is a little bit larger than my head's on the side. So I was kind of wondering how it was going to work out with this cap. I was wondering should I leave the lace underneath the bottom or should I cut the lace out? But I'm definitely going to cut the lace out. I was thinking that maybe I can leave the lace there and not use a um, wig cap. But no, don't do that. Now the hairline on the frontal wasn't bad. But I did want to do a little bit more customizing to it. I'm going to spray it with a little water and then tweeze the hairline. I'm not a pro at customizing. If you want to know how to customize a frontal baby, go to Peak Mill channel. That's who I always go to for my wig customization skills. Sometimes I can get um, heavy handed when I'm tweezing. So I'm trying not to do so much tweezing. And because 90% of the time I wear my hair to the left, 
with my part on the right I mainly focused all the customization to the right side of my head I usually don't do too much to the left although I did do a little bit of customizing unless I plan on styling it in a different way pulling it back into a ponytail pulling it up into a high bun or something then I work on the you know full hairline but most of the time I'm just focusing on what's going to be shown so now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go in and start hot gluing the wefts onto the cap. I am going to start at the nape of the cap, what would be the nape of my neck, measure, cut, and glue. Measure, cut, and glue. And I got my hot glue gun and my glue sticks from Joanne Fabrics. And I'm just going to repeat the steps of measure, cut, glue, measure, cut, glue. And I'm just going to keep going up in the same pattern. That's what I like about frontals is you don't have to figure out where you're going to lay the wefts. You just follow the cap. And also, you use way less hair. Now, I did receive four bundles of hair. And when I initially started to make my wig, I unraveled the 20 inch and realized how much hair was on the weft and how long the weft was. So I put the two 20 inches to the side and started with the 18. And I got halfway up the wig just using an 18 inch. And as you can see, if I'm pulling it apart, you really can't see any of the wefts. Halfway up the wig and only use one bundle. So that was great. So I'm just going to finish the wig off using the 16 inch bundle and that's all I used. Two bundles of hair, 14 inch frontal and 16, 18 inch bundle and that was all I used. And I think the wig is nice and full. I forgot to mention that I put tape on my wig block to protect it from when I do hot glue. But when I sew it, I use the same block and it doesn't, the tape doesn't get in the way. I'm going to cut the lace off the back of this cap. I'm going to cut the extra lace off of the cap as well as the lace around the hairline. Okay, so once I cut the lace off and actually put the wig on as I would wear it, the wig cap does not fit perfect. Um, with dome cap, with frontals period, I don't think you can get a perfect fit using a cap. So I did want to go in and add an elastic band. You can pick those up at your local fabric store. I got some from um, Joanne Fabrics. I have the skinny one and I have the fat one. I like the fat one because the skinny one kind of digs into your head and gives you a headache. And I just take the elastic band behind my head and stretch it from ear to ear. And then I cut it and sew it into the cap. Using elastic bands with frontals are perfect. You really don't have to use any got to be glue or anything like that. You can for extra security. So now that the wig is on, it fits good. I'm just going to do a little bit of styling to it. I'm going to give me a little bit of baby hairs. I'm going to tweeze out my part a little bit and add some concealer to the part. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, the cap is okay. I don't notice a big difference. I guess it's easier for beginners because you have a guide of where to line the frontal up. So I guess that's good in that sense. But other than that, the cap is about the same as if you use the regular spandex stone cap. And I'm really feeling this hair. It is gorgeous. It is very full. And I still have two full bundles left. So I definitely recommend this company as far as the amount of hair you get. So if you guys want to check out this company because they give you so much hair for your bundles, I will have all the information down below. They're also having a big sale. And that will be in the description bar as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you did. I love you guys and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.